the, the people on earth that are like the most opposed to like gentrification are the same Californians like moving to poor Idaho communities and pricing those people out. I don't like, understand what's bad about gentrification. I really can't. Like, no one has ever explained to me. Why I don't understand it either nice because it seems Apple like if, if people Atlanta. leave, that's white flight and that's bad. And then if people come there, that's gentrification and that's Let bad. You, Where do you want us to live, folks? Like what? <laughs> Where you were born, damn it. Like, else. You know, they took this rundown neighborhood and then they invested in it and they made it nicer. And now it's more expensive to live there. Yeah. Oh, woe is me. All the people who like stayed, their property values went up too. How are you a victim in this? I love it. They did it in East Atlanta. I don't get it either. And like they kept the graffiti on the wall. So it now just feels hip. <laughs> now it's cool yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. Like, like aren't those gang tags nah come on let's go get a burger it's, uh, it's great. No, but you, you do see that shit like you're right Woody it runs them right it'll out. be like wow all you whiteies moving out of the city oh, white know, flight yeah or it's it like all you whiteies moving into the city gentrification it's like <laughs> well, what where so, do we live where I live is, is considered Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. It's this Raleigh, Durham, Chapel mm -hmm. Hill. That's the triangle. There's this huge zoning thing that only like tech companies and pharmaceutical companies can be there. They figured out that like these guys have alpha jobs. So for every engineer you get, you get a mechanic, a restaurant to something else. And they're mm -hmm. like, we want these alpha jobs to move here. So they zoned for it. It worked. Cool. Well, people would sell their farms and then like IBM would buy farmland and put up a big building there and, and mm -hmm. hire people and they're like all oh, these poor farmers are being forced to move out meanwhile the farmers are getting like 17 million dollars like they're yeah. not poor farmers they're farmers who struck it rich i hate how they painted all the sellers as victims mm. when they chose to sell you mean yeah and they chose to sell they right. cashed out yeah, like, I want to see the movie about the farmer who, when they get offered the money, they're like, "Oh, thank God, I hate getting up at five a.m." <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. I, can, I know you're just gonna build a factory here. Can I go out there and shoot every one of those fucking cows in the head? <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Just like, leave. You clean. You you clean up the mess. <laughs> Damn. Like, like, Damn. <laughs> I, I know, Kyle. Like you grew up very close to farming culture oh, and yeah. agriculture and all that. Like I grew up in St. Louis, but I was. And my grandparents all the time, they owned a cattle farm. And there is this like weird, it, it's mostly right wing people, frankly, that I see with it doing this shit. Like mm -hmm. you just need to live in a rural area and just do your own thing. And just like the, the, the pioneers would like that kind of bullshit. And it's like, right. what, what, like, are you retarded? Like, th really? Like we're, we're, we're not, going, we're not going back to that dumbass. Like, you, you think the best thing to do is you're telling people to just go move in the middle of nowhere with no infrastructure, no nothing like chop their firewood and grow their food. I think that like yeah. that whole that whole argument is a bunch of bullshit. Like I see and like I, it's, like I said, it's largely right wing people making it where they're like, oh, all the systems are against us and they're all oppressing us. So let's move to the middle of nowhere. And it's like, are you like if that were true and all of these institutions were oppressing you in this way, the solution you believe is to disenfranchise yourself, make yourself more dependent on a strained out electrical grid and hope for the best. Like what what are you right. doing? Like are you retarded? Like that doesn't like even your little fantasy world doesn't make sense. Like I I spent a while a few days ago like going through this absolutely psychotic Twitter thread of someone talking about how you you gotta move into the middle of nowhere and start raising your own beets and hunt squirrels. <laughs> no. And it's like where do you Grow your live? toenails. Because it says tweeted from my iPhone. You, fucking, <laughs> fucking, you liar. Why don't you lead the why don't you lead the way? Lead the way. Show us how it's done. How about a year from now you post a video of your totally sustainable compound? Prove us wrong. Like, like, but they're not gonna do that. They're mm. telling like, it was a whole thread of some lunatic telling people to move into the middle of nowhere because of some uh, of, you know What's phantom impression. Was the end coming? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, the the end was like was nigh. Uh, yeah, he I, said.